Well, uh, welcome now to Dr. Solorino, who is just about ready to start in the case, and here's our picture. And um, now we can yes. hopefully start. Dr. Solorino, people hear you and see you. Okay. So I would like to stress uh, the Kawano system. This is uh, the surge suppressor system. This is the main part that is uh, right at the end of the handpiece, so it works uh, very, very easily. It's not so far like, like other machines uh, that are uh, about uh, two meters from uh, the handpiece. So, this... Uh, This is the tunnel. I'd rather prefer to use the needle because I think it's very easy to go. The corner is a little cloudy, but uh, you can easily start and have a complete, uh, easy progression of the capsule axis. So we are at the end. And the dew, we made the side port. Yes. The lid is uh, on a coumadin, so it's easy to have a little blood. I'd like uh, really to spend uh, more seconds doing uh, a proper hydrodissection under the tunnel and then also trying to do a good uh, hydrodelineation just to have uh, the possibility to move the nucleus more easily. And I think those few seconds more that I spend now will me gain, uh, will make gain uh, more easily removal for the cortical cataract. And then we'll start di directly with the the PEM system. I made a little. Uh, cleaning of for the cortex and then the stride to the the center of the nucleus holding and a good crack I think also the second one You know, the chamber is uh, pretty stable in spite of the high vacuum levels. And it's easy to hold the piece, uh, really, when I have to emulsify. Can you wash the corner, please? This kind of a pattern of ultrasound is really a good uh, compromise between the holding uh, ability and uh, the capacity, the ability to fagmusify also hard cataracts. We always try to catch also the AP nucleus and to remove it. There is a good cleavage of the AP nucleus so we can uh, and 
almost completely. And that's all. Now we can feel a little bit here near the And then try to refine, but we have not too much to, to aspirate. We can fill the capsule bag. And I would like to show you how is uh, made this, uh, this new injection system that can uh, be very easily used for uh, either turn, either uh, turn or push the lens. Because you can choose uh, from here if you can uh, use it uh, the uh, turn or the pushing system. Just to double check to not uh, damage any of the optic part. And then inserting the lens also. With one part in the, in the bag and easily go to the second part. The lens is uh, right in the capsule bag, so I think we can stop and uh, maybe just a little bit of uh, edema on the corneal channel. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, okay, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, okay. 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 That was lovely surgery. Well done. Thank you okay. very much indeed. We'll look over there. Yeah. Now, tell me, I haven't seen the uh, Opticon 2004. I've used it to a uh, Opticon machine many, many years ago. What do you think are the special features of it? I think the special features are uh, that actually Opticon is, do is doing a very good job transferring uh, the control system uh, from the machine to the handpiece. So actually we are using that uh, kind of a surge suppressor system that is uh, a very effective one that uh, works when uh, you occlude uh, your tip, uh, avoiding uh, the EOP increasing too much mm -hmm. and uh, also works when uh, you disocclude uh, your tip with the ultrasound uh, and when you need the more uh, water inside the anterior chamber mm -hmm. because immediately it releases the, the water. Okay. That's very different from other systems that are about uh, two meters uh, away from the, your handpiece. So you work uh, really with a good uh, uh, anterior chamber system that uh, stabilizes the chamber. And I notice on the um, overlay that there is a, uh, a monitoring of the intraocular pressure, which is the first time I think any machine setup has done this. Is this something that gives you a feeling of safety? Yes, actually it's only to, to, to know the intraocular pressure, but we uh, think uh, that in the future, the, in the next future, can be very useful to have a system that can uh, um, monitor it and they uh, made an intervention on the uh, intraocular pressure just to, to avoid to have a big uh, amount of uh, pressure when uh, you are uh, doing some uh, maneuver during cataract surgery and so you can uh, be more effective on uh, uh, keep the physiological values during your surgery. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank very you. much indeed. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.